<laughs> Look, I know a lot of people give Americans a bum rap for being stupid and knowing nothing about the world, but the reality couldn't be further from the truth. As I discovered on the streets here, asking US locals about the very world their country runs. Name a country that begins with U. Yugoslavia? With U, Utah. A country that starts with a U. Uh, Utopia. Who's in the coalition of the willing? No freaking idea. Afghanistan, Kuwait, Iraq, Pakistan, uh, you know. <laughs> New Zealand? New Zealand. What's the religion of Israel? Israeli. Muslim. Islamic? Catholic, probably. What religion are Buddhist monks? Buddhist monks. Buddhist monks, Buddhist monks, Buddhist monks. Islamic, I don't know. Who won the Vietnam War? We did. Uh, and who was... <laughs> Wait, were we even in the Vietnam War? Okay, good. Who is Fidel Castro? A singer. How many sides does a triangle have? Damn, four. There's no sides. One. What is the currency used in the United Kingdom? <laughs> What's the currency in the United Kingdom? What is it? In the United Kingdom, I don't know. Possibly American money. Queen Elizabeth's money? That's all I know. Name a country that begins with you. A country? Yeah. <laughs> um, what about this one? What? The United States of America. <gasps> My name's John Howard, Prime Minister of Australia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. John Howard, Prime Minister of Australia. Uh-huh. Oh, are you? Yes, I am indeed. So, uh, Very nice well, to meet you. Yeah. from Queensland. Really? Texas. Excellent. I hope you voted for me. Mr. Howard, thank you very much for your offer. Thank you very much. There's a lot of countries out there at the moment who are not, be real, not really being as supportive as they should, in particular the French. Um, and uh, we, we're really cutting down on our ties with the French at the moment. Are you boycotting French products? Um, actually, not boycotting them, but not going out of our way to look for them. Sure. Okay. No, well, well, that, that's very good. How are you going? John Howard, Prime Minister of Australia. Nice to meet you. Yeah, we've been very supportive in the war on terror. Yes. Yeah, we, we, we like to think that wherever the United States is, we'll follow. Our number one aim is to uh, keep America happy. Right on. Yeah, we know what's good for us. I think your support is always encouraged, and, uh, and uh, we certainly enjoy your wine. I always like to, when I come to places like this, where probably I'm not as well recognised as in Australia. Just, it's really nice to be able to come and actually chat to people normally. Have you seen me on the, on the television? Yes, I have. Fantastic. I, I've, I've met with the president a few times. to be recognized. It's fantastic. It's nice to get there to our country. Very good. Thank you for being supportive of the United States. Well, thank you very much. We, we, we like to do whatever we can, and, and you know, I'm sure that, that our relationship will remain strong for as many years as we can to come. Certainly while I'm in office. My slogan is, John Howard is my mate. John Howard is my mate. John Howard. Okay. Um, in terms of the war on terror, who do you think should be the next country to invade? Saudi Arabia. Somebody in the Middle East. We'll make a big glass crater out of the fucking Middle East, for all I care. Um, I'm thinking Italy. Italy. Mm -hmm. Cuba. Cuba? Yeah. Iran. Iran? Why is that? Uh, I think there's a revolution going on pretty soon. Russia, China. India and Pakistan. Indonesia, Brazil. Korea. Korea? Sure. Yeah, why do you say that? They're trouble. They're trouble? Yep, okay. What, what's trouble about them? That's their attitude. Canada. Sri Lanka? Right here. Ah. Oh. Never heard of it. Iran? 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 Yeah. Okay. Alright, do you want to put a, put a number one in Iran there? South, 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 south. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking then. Okay. North Korea? North Korea? Why do you think North Korea? Uh, nuclear. Nuclear. Yeah. Probably France. France? Oh, yeah. because of okay. the they want our allies. Right. We're gonna put number two on France. Why would you say France? Yeah. Oh no, it just it seemed to be some friction between <laughs> France and the United States. Where do you think the best place to invade Iran would be from? I think it'd be from the, the north or the south or the east or the west. I think it's the east. West. Yeah. You know, and it's amazing because I just realized just now that North Korea is a lot larger than South Korea. I didn't yeah. know it was that large like yeah. that.
Kofi Annan is a drink, true or false? Well, coffee is a drink. Coffee and what? It sounds like a love song. Yeah, who is Tony Blair? I don't even know. Okay. All right, any guess? Any guess? Skater? Tony Blair is an actor. Linda Blair's brother? Which countries are in the axis of evil? Um, I know Germany's one of them. I'm not sure. No. Okay, California. Yep. New York. Jerusalem. Right. Jerusalem. Okay, there's, there's more than one. I think all of them. There's a stop with us. Florida. Okay, I'm a little bit mixed up over the Palestinians and the Israelis. Mm -hmm. Okay, which one is throwing the rocks? Uh, I can't think of the other name of the other one. The, the fellow with the turban thing and I call it a... <laughs> Who was the first man in the room? John Glenn. I'm so I've walked on the man, but I think it was a Russian, I'm not sure. Well, I gotta tell you, some people don't believe that happened. They believe that was uh, reincarnated in, his, in Arizona somewhere. What is a moss? Don't have any idea. Want to guess? An animal. I have no intelligent guess. Okay, do you want to make a super guess? How many kidneys does a person have? One. What is collateral damage? Well, they just made a film about it, but that's definitely not what it is. It probably has something to do with what the movie was about, but not necessarily related to the movie. Do you know what I mean? How many world wars have there been? Three. Which state does KFC come from? What, the chicken? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, do you, do you know what KFC stands for? Star Wars is based on a true story. True or false? True. So what a Russian name is an egg asap in place. Uh, what's the Pluto reference? Where is the West Bank? The East Coast, probably. Uh, okay, somewhere in the Orange. How many Eiffel Towers are there in Paris? Sam Bonte. What is Al Qaeda? Al Qaeda is a group, is a group, a suicide group in Israel in the Middle East that they put suicide bombs and stuff. Okay, right, well, yep. Yeah. Um, that is. Right, yeah. Everybody knows. Okay. This is my answer. Oh, Carter is a wing of the Masonic Order. Where was the Berlin Wall? What is the main religion of Israel? The language they speak in Latin America is Latin. True or false? What? Believe me, I don't know the answer to this question, but I'm thinking. Most Americans would even support a war against a country they've never heard of. Take a harmless place like the Central Asian Republic of Kyrgyzstan. I wouldn't have thought they'd be much threat. Oh, well, you wouldn't think so, but that's not the view I found on the streets of Texas. Do you support the president's stance on Kyrgyzstan? Yeah. Yeah. Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan. I got no idea of Central Asia. The president says that Kyrgyzstan is a threat to US security. Do you support him in that? Oh, yeah. Like President Bush. Okay. Um, I Do you agree with President Bush that Kyrgyzstan is a threat to the United States? I don't think all those countries that are over there that support terrorism or have anything to do with like that are a threat to the United States. If the President authorizes military action against Kyrgyzstan, would you still support him? Yes, sir. You guys support him all the way? Yes, sir. I'm a president. Okay. Whatever it takes to keep this country free. Do you think that Kyrgyzstan is a threat to world security? Yeah, I think so. No. No, why not? Because they don't have enough fi uh, power to defend themselves. So you still support an invasion by America? Yes, I would. Whatever you think is right. 